Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drivedon.com and as of now, I was trying something in the fastboot D mode and the entire fastboot D mode has got corrupted. As a result of which, you could see I'm getting the SMT download failed message and I cannot do anything else. If I try to press any key or press any button, then my phone will try to boot up but will again take me to this SMT download error message. Let me show you that. Let's wait, wait for a couple of seconds and I will again be taken back to the screen. So from this screen, you will not be able to boot to the fastboot mode, the fastboot D mode or the re recovery mode, you will always be taken to the SMT download fail error message and that is the only screen that you will see on your phone. So let me show you that as well. So in this video, I show you how to fix this issue. The reason for this issue might be quite a lot of reasons, including the fact that the fastboot D mode might have got corrupted. Well, that's not a cause of concern. Irrespective of the fact whether the fastboot D mode has been corrupted, the bootloader is corrupted or the recovery is corrupted. I'll show you one single method that will fix and rectify all these issues for good. So with that in mind, let's get started. As you might have guessed, we will be taking the help of MSM download tool to get this job done. So let me once again try to first show you if I long press the power key. And as you could see, it's currently in that same mode itself. Again, let me press the power key for a few seconds and let me show you. So as you could see, my phone is not able to boot to the OS. Well, let alone OS, you might not be able to boot to the any mode whatsoever. So let's try and rectify this issue. First and foremost, let me close all the tools in the background and CMD window as well. In fact, this is the culprit which lead to my phone in this state, but not an issue. We'll try to fix this issue using the MSM tool. So first and foremost, get hold of the MSM tool for your phone. From my guide and extract them onto your PC, I have listed the MSM tool for all the phones. As of now, I'm using a OnePlus 9 Pro. Once you've got the tool, extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive, I guess. Let me show you. This is the MSM download tool. Now I will advise you to launch the tool beforehand. Even though your phone is not in the ideal mode, that's not a cause of concern. Simply launch the tool beforehand and keep it up and running in the backend. So let me show you that. In the first screen that appears, you will have to choose others and then click on next. So let's just wait. In the meantime, your phone might undergo a boot loop and come back to the SMT screen. That's not an issue. Now hit the start button and you, it will now show waiting for device because our phone is not in the ideal mode. So let's simply minimize the MSM tool. And now let's move ahead with the next step. The first step is to install Android SDK. Well, you could ignore this. This is no longer required in our case. Now you will have to disable the driver signature enforcement so that Windows does not conflict with the EDL drivers on your PC. So you may refer to my guide and get this job done. In short, what you have to do is simply bring up the power menu and then press and hold the shift key. While holding the shift key, hit the restart button. You will now be taken to the Windows recovery environment. From here, click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option, then select startup settings and now press the 7 or the F7 key. Along with the function key, the F7 key, in some cases, the FN key on some PC. So press the 7 or the F7 key along with the function key and the driver signature enforcement will be turned off and your PC will boot to the OS. Once that happens, you may then move to the next step. So now you will have to install the Qualcomm USB drivers on your PC. I made a separate guide and a video on the same. First off, I will advise you to install the automatic drivers. So simply go to my guide and get hold of the 64 bit drivers for your PC. Once you've got the driver, simply launch the exe file and proceed with the on screen instruction to install the drivers. Just keep in mind in the first screen, you have to choose WWA and DHCP and click on next. Then again, hit the next button, then click on install and the driver will be installed. If that does not work out, you may also use the manual method. I'll show you that as well. But first, let's assume we have installed the automatic drivers and now you will have to boot your phone to EDL mode. For booting your phone to EDL mode, Okay, first let me close this tool as well so that I could show you the EDL mode as well of my phone. So for booting your phone to EDL mode, first and foremost, you will have to power off your phone. Once that is done, press and hold the volume up and volume down keys. While holding both this key, connect your phone to the PC via USB cable and your phone should then boot to the EDL mode in a matter of few seconds. To verify the same, you may right click on the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Then expand the Android phone section and expand the port section and as you could see our phone is now being shown in the EDL mode Qualcomm HS USB QD loader as you have seen in our case 
but if in your case your phone is not being shown in the EDL mode that's not a cause of concern it just means that the driver have not been installed so in that case you must then opt for the manual installation of the drivers in the manual installation as of now your phone will be shown as QHS USB bulk instead of the Qualcomm HS USB QD loader your phone will be shown as QHS USB bulk so right click on it then select update drivers then choose browse my computer then click on the browse button and click on next and select the Qualcomm drivers file and hit ok and the driver will then be installed once the drivers have been installed you may once again simply first of power off the phone and press and hold the volume up and volume down keys while holding both the keys connect your phone to the PC via USB cable and then let go of the keys and then check the same in the device manager so just a minute let me do that once again and I will show you that as well let me power off the phone and press and hold both the volume keys and then connect the phone to the PC via USB cable and connect your phone and the device manager will now undergo a refresh as you could see this is the phone in the EDL mode but there might be some issue as you could see in my case the phone will automatically exit the EDL mode within 5 to 6 seconds if there is no MSM tool in the back end. So that is why I have told you in the initial step that please keep the MSM tool running in the back end. Since I have closed the MSM tool, my phone will automatically boot to the error message. So you should always first and foremost keep the MSM tool running in the back end. So let's do that as well. And after that you should boot your phone to the EDL mode because then the flashing will start automatically. Let me show you what I mean. So as of now, since the MSM tool was not running in the back end, our phone booted to EDL mode, waited for 5 seconds and then it checked that there was no tool running in the back end, it automatically booted to the error message. So what we have to do is keep the MSM tool started in the back end as you could see it's now waiting for device and now you may start the phone in EDL mode as well. So let me show you that as well. Let's keep both this running here. And now if I unplug my phone from the PC, power off my phone and press and hold the volume up and volume down keys and then plug in my phone to the USB cable via PC, you should see that the port section should get established as well and the connection is also established in the MSM tool and the flashing will now start and our phone will not exit the EDL mode, our phone will stay in the EDL mode until the flashing is complete. Likewise in the port section as well, our phone will be shown here until and unless the flashing is over. So just keep in mind that you will have to keep the MSM tool running in the back end and only after that boot your phone to the EDL mode or else your phone will automatically exit the EDL mode within 5 seconds. So let's just wait for the flashing to complete. The super IMG file takes the maximum amount of time. Apart from that the rest of the file will only take a few seconds. Overall the time should be around 400 to 500 seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen and then we'll be back. So guys as you could see the flashing is now complete and you will get a download complete message in the MSM tool. Likewise your phone will automatically boot to the OS but do keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal. Moreover your phone will have undergone a reset. Apart from that the boot order should also be logged. This is because the MSM tool automatically tends to log the boot order. If you want to unlock the bootloader then do so right away because unlocking the bootloader will again wipe off all the data. So there is no need to restore all the data and do an unlocking rather simply boot to the OS, enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking then come back to the fastboot mode and use the fastboot flashing unlock command then use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. I have made a, a separate guide and a video as well you could search for the video in my channel and you'll get that video on how to unlock the bootloader on oneplus phone so if you want you may unlock the bootloader as well or it's completely optional up to you anyways let me just wait for a few more seconds and show you you the os status the first time boot will take up up to around a minute that's how things goes in oneplus so let's just wait so guys as you could see our phone has now booted to the os and let me quickly agree the terms and condition and take you to the os so let me skip all these stuffs as well and let me show you one more thing I will also unlock the bootloader right now itself so you will not have to go to any other video while it might lead to a few less clicks in my case and but it will save you time and that is what matters the most even though you will not be able to watch my other videos as a result of this 
but a little bit of loss on my end is no nothing as such anyways you just have to go to about phone tap on build number seven times then go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to oem unlocking as well as usb debugging initially you might have to connect your phone to the internet and wait for a few seconds so let me do that if you don't do so then as you could see over here the oem unlocking option is shown as connect to the internet or contact the carrier so let me connect my phone to the internet and then after we will have to wait for a couple of more seconds so let me quickly connect my phone to the wi-fi just a minute and even after the connection has established you might not be able to enable the toggle right right away you will have to wait for a couple of more seconds so let me show you this as well if you want you may try up to speed up the process by closing the settings menu and restarting it but that usually does not matter just keep the phone in the state for a, around a couple of seconds and then the toggle will be unlocked so let's wait for a, around 20 to 30 seconds for that to happen so guys let me check now just a minute let me go to the system developer option and check out the results so it's now ungrade and i could enable it tap on enable and let's now reboot our phone to the fast boot mode i've also enabled advanced reboot so let me do that from here itself okay so the advanced reboot option is only there to, till oxygen os 11 and thankfully the msm tool will also flash the oxygen os 11 this is the last great one plus os rather the last oxygen os from oxygen os 12 is rather the color os more of and less of oxygen os anyways let me now show you how to unlock the bootloader so simply get hold of the android sdk platform tools from my guide and extract them onto your pc then type in cmd in the address bar and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside platform tools now type in fast boot okay one more thing this is completely optional and if you don't want you may leave the bootloader logged it is completely up to you if you unlock the bootloader then it will wipe off all the data and might also make the warranty null and void as well if that's well and good then only proceed ahead now type in, type in fastboot flashing unlock and hit enter you will get a prompt on your phone use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm and with this the bootloader will be unlocked your phone will undergo a wipe as you could see now it will go a wipe and after the wipe is done your phone will boot to the os and the bootloader will be unlocked so guys on that note i round up this video on how you could fix the smt error on your oneplus phone if you have any queries with regards to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching